and down. So I'm gonna call Sky over. Sky, until I sit. Yes. Take that treat, hold it above her head, and wait till those feet are on the ground. Good set, good girl. And that's when she gets the treat. I want her butt on the ground. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Good girl. And I also want those front feet on the ground. And the reason for that is I don't want to reward batting or pawing behavior. Um, and then the next thing we do is her down. So I'm gonna call her over. Sky. She loves to kind of do this crawl. Hi, she's a goofy fun pup. Down. Wait until she goes nice flat and relax. So we'll get a little closer to the camera. We'll do it again. Sky. Good girl. Sit. Yes. Hold that treat above her head. Wait till those feet are on the ground. Yes, good girl. Good job. As long as when I give her that treat, her feet are on the ground as well as her butt. That's when she gets that treat. It's all about timing with that aspect. Bye. And I tell her down. Hold that treat to the ground. Good girl. Good job. And she loves belly rubs. That's why she does that crawl. Um, she's always ready to flip right over for some belly rubs, huh? Good girl. Good job. You're gonna notice that she's a yes, good, good girl a lot throughout her training. The reason for that is those are positive marker words, and I want to assure her that she's doing exactly what I want from her. Good job. And these are going to be um, something that comes in handy down the road in her training. So when we're somewhere and I don't necessarily have treats on me, or as she gets older and you don't want to always have to hand her treats, those are just as good as handing her treats. They're marker words. They're to assure her she's doing what you want her to do. So I'm going to call her back. Sky, what are you doing? Yes. Wait for those feet to be on the ground. Yes, go girl. And she got that tree when all both front feet were on the ground as well as her butt. She does lift her feet up at the end um, after getting the reward. And sometimes that's just a young thing that she's going to grow out of. But we continue to make sure that the timing aspect is she's only rewarded when those feet are on the ground. So we'll do it again. Okay. Come here. Sit. Yes. Good girl. Good job. Tell her down, take that treat, hold it to the ground until she goes nice, flat, and relaxed. I want to make sure her belly is on the ground. Down is a structured position, so she does get rewarded with belly rubs. But when I say down, that means that she has to put her belly down to the ground. Ready? Sit. Yes. Good girl. And down. Yes. Good girl. Good job. And then now is a good time. Reward all this good work. Good job. Good job. Yes. So we'll do it again. I'm going to reward that come command. Yes. Good job. Just because she came up to me when I said the come. Yes. Good job. Oh, she dropped the treat. Let's see if she'll find it. There we go. She just wants the belly wraps. Yes. So we're going to end this as always on a positive note. I'm going to get her to do another sit down and then sit, which is going to be her strongest command for a while. Come here. Yes, sit. Good girl. Wait for that foot to be on the ground. And I'm going to give her a little bit of a jackpot that time. This way it's kind of keeping her excited and in tuned. And then, oh, she wants some belly rubs. We'll do that at the very end. Okay. Oh, goodness. You're going to wait for the belly rubs. Oh, she found one of those free ones I dropped. Did you find it? Good girl. So sit. And then, of course, a sit. Let's see if we can get her up. I know, belly rubs at the end. Yes. Because we always want to end on a positive note. Sit. Yes, good girl. And with her strongest command. And then lots of praise. I want her last memory of training to be a positive one. I want her to look forward to training and enjoy doing so. So, yeah. Always ending good with the commands we're working on, which we were sitting down. I'm with her strongest command, which is sit, and then lots and lots of praise. Good job. Good job.